Okay, hey, it's Abco Kid here, and today I'm going to show you how to dry clean a wool um, area rug. And I'm going to be using my Dyson kit that came with my DC-15 animal, and I also have one for my DC-17 animal. Um, it's got this little brush that you can stick on the end of the earlier Dyson cleaning wands if you detach it from the hose. Um, pack it absorb and the dyes all I've got a microfiber and this is no different than any of the other um, dry cleaning things um, like from SIBO or um, Lindhouse and I think host uses the there's like a um, fine sawdust too because that's all this really is, is a fine sawdust coated in a uh, cleaning chemical and I know Capture and the Auric kind are um, like a fine powder like really fine like it's on the underside of my vacuums after months and months and months of cleaning no matter what machine I use if it's a Kirby Central Vac it always it just doesn't seem to come out and I recommend a central vac, especially a non-bagged one like my vacuum flow because it just coats the bags like it's ridiculous. But anyway, so um, I don't know. I guess I could do a video sometime like which works better, the sawdust kind or the fine powder. But for now, this is what we're gonna use. Um, and just to show you. This is a authentic wool rug. Um, this one came from India. Anyone in Connecticut will know cowed rugs. Um, these are very expensive for only a two by three rug. And so you want to treat it differently than you would your normal um, carpeting. You can also do a wet cleaning method if you like, where you take lukewarm water and um, like uh, you could even use woolite detergent, um, scrub it, and then you can kind of squeegee it um, with the direction of the pile and then extract it in different directions. And then ideally, you want to hang it up to dry or, you know. Um, do something like that, but you kind of got to know what you're doing for that. I have done it before on this rug um, with great results, but for now, um, I'm just doing this as a um, just a dry cleaning method, and they don't get very dirty because we don't allow shoes in our house, so this never really sees any kind of heavy traffic. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean it first with a vacuum, and then we'll get going with the process. I did clean it earlier, so I was just kind of going through the motions just to show you like how you do it. So you ideally want to kind of clean it both directions and just find the pile. Like usually oriental rugs, in my experience, like the pile goes, if you pull it this way, it makes the pile come up on this half of the rug, and on this half it's a little bit different. Every oriental rug that I've seen, it kind of changes throughout the um, rug itself. So. Um, what I'm going to do first is start by spraying the Dysol.
spray the entire surface. Um, this is used as a, a spot cleaner, but you know, I, I like to use it as the uh, first step, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next before I actually apply the powder or the dry, whatever you, you want to call that stuff. And this comes out in such a fine mist that it's a, um, you don't really have to worry about soaking the carpet. Had to switch hands, it does kind of get a little tiring. It's a lot of resistance for this sprayer here. Alright, so that's good enough for that. And what you want to do is take a microfiber towel. This is one that I, uh, one of my good ones that I use to clean my car with. And I can show you another video sometime on how I clean my microfibers and keep them looking perfect. So. There it is folded up, and um, you just want to rub it. And this mop, this type doesn't have fringe, it's folded under, or it's just how they stitched it. Um, so. It is safe to rub um, when you're doing this type of thing, when there's not a real stain on it. If there was a stain, you obviously want to blot. But a microfiber works well with this kind of motion versus just blotting isn't really going to agitate the fibers of the wool. And like I said, for a stain you definitely do not want to rub it. That just goes, for, and I flipped my rag just now. It's kind of hard to keep them folded perfectly, but you just do the best you can. So for video purposes, I'm going kind of quick, but you know, you get the idea. Um, I don't really have a lighter rag to show you, but this is not really that dirty. I'm sure if I wrung it out, it might be a little bit, but um, the entry rug by our front door was a little dirtier, visibly on the other microfiber, so there's that. the actual powder. keep mine in the Ziploc because it kind of dries out even though this bag itself has a zipper on it, just the little the powder gets in the zipper and doesn't really make it easy to close. So now I'm going to do this by hand. You could, like I said, stick a Dyson wand in there. And actually I think that might be inch and a quarter, so any vacuum wand that's inch and a quarter might fit. But this is where you want to go and kind of, you just want to distribute all of this throughout the rug and you're going to have to tap this out and just flip the bristles onto the rug like such just because it gets built up in there and tap it on the rug a couple of times but you want to go four directions like up and down side to side well basically that's it um, and just really incorporate it and get it 